I'm Susan Freeman and I am the patient experience. My name is Luke Tipler and I am the patient experience. I am Amber Drescher and I am the patient experience. remarkable patient experience is meeting the needs of the patients and really being respectful of what the uniqueness is of their particular situation. You want to be super friendly because you don't know what experiences these people have been through. So what brings you guys in today? So I always try and at least let them know that I understand their stress, but I also want them to realize that this is a place for kids and kids like to have fun even when they're sick. Awesome, give me five. Just simple acts. We all know how to be polite to others and, and it's courtesy is about just being polite. Yeah, hi. This is more a patient and a family's experience than, than my job. It's about what they're experiencing and so I try to always be listening for their needs or listening for their preferences or just get a good overall feel for, you know, what kind of day are they having and then work towards respecting that and how I can make it better for them. Hi, Peanut. Doing those little things for the families, whether it be bringing toys in for the patient or the siblings, rocking babies, giving parents breaks so they can go get breakfast or lunch, and just really showing the families that we care about the kids that we take care of. I treat every child as if they were my children and how I would want them to be respected. I listen, make sure that I understand and that they understand me before I get off, off the phone. We're all in agreement that you know, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to help them. Get down at their level, be eye to eye, start across the room, make sure they're comfortable with you, and uh, slowly approach the younger patients. Older teenagers, again, uh, treating them with maturity and respect, I think goes a long way. Well, I'm more. Also keeping in mind any cultural or religious background type things, we wanna do that as well, and that's probably one of the biggest ways that we help respect our patients and our families. It's an open setting here, so we just try to keep it as private as we can and bring them to our desk and talk to them. Yeah, which arm, with this one or that one? First of all, knowing when you're talking to a family where you're at in the hospital, you know, is it somewhere in a lobby or somewhere where it's public? And if it is something medical related, making sure that you get behind a closed door so, so they can give you that private information. I think privacy is more about being there and, and aware when there's a moment where someone needs privacy. People get bad news, they get good news. It's routine to us and it's routine to our caregivers, but many times it's not to the patients and their families. So helping people to find a private place and, and a private manner which, with which to deal with them, uh, I think is really critically important. As soon as a person comes up, you want to make sure they're taken care of. We don't like to keep them on our wait list because we want them to just get in, get taken care of as quickly as they can. If you guys need anything before Dr. Zapata comes in, just let me know, okay? My name's Kelly. Thanks! From the time that they're checked in, I try to get them in the room and seen by the doctor as quickly as they can, in whatever I can do. When you tell somebody you're going to do it, you stop what you're doing. You do it right then. You make sure you give someone the time of day. Treat them as if you're not too busy, that they're the only person there, that they're the only person that matters. Answering call lights quickly, if they have concerns or questions, getting a quick response for those, and not, not making the families wait. And, really getting them the best care possible in a timely fashion. I'm gonna go under the, the cameras here. One of the biggest things that we try to work hard on is to make sure that everyone is as safe as they can be when radiation is being used. I've had a pair of these shoes for many years, obviously different pairs. I call them my duck shoes, so then when I walk, some kids, I quack when I walk, or um, I just, I even waddle sometimes for some of the kids. It's just, it's kind of a fun thing. I like to think we try to do the remarkable every day because anytime families come into us, they're worried about their child. And there really is no greater level of respect or trust that families have than to trust us with the care of their children. I'm Bryn Oles and I am the patient experience. Hi, I'm Joe Novotny and I am the patient experience. I'm Kelly Wake and I am the patient experience.